My husband is a mean, controlling mm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. How long have you two been together and married? We've been together five years, married for two. I'm assuming the marriage is not what you expected? No, it's not. Okay. What's going on? Uh, Nicola, when I first met Nicola, was very sweet, timid, you know, um, kind. And now it's not like that anymore. Okay. He's now mean, um, controlling. So they're not the same person? No. Well, when did you see the shift? Um, in the beginning of the relationship, I was told that, you know, he was going through a transition. Mm -hmm. um, I asked what that entailed, and he told me that, you know, he didn't want any type of bottom surgery or anything, so I was open to something new, okay. uh, as long as we had that understanding. Okay. Um, here now, years later, every once in a while, it's being thrown up. And I'm like, where is this coming from? Got it. I thought so we had So what you two agreed upon, he's now saying, well, maybe this is not what I want. Right. So is that the root of all the arguments? Is that, what, is that what's when the argument started? No, not really. Okay. Uh, the arguments just start because he's like, I'm just being picked at. Like, mm -hmm. just out of the blue, you just want to argue. So tell me about the name calling. Um, when he gets upset and drinking, he does call me stupid. Um, every once in a while, it may be, I'm a bitch, you know. Yeah. And so, Nicola told you that he messed with other women? Yes. What? When? Um, in the beginning, um, he would get mad and he would just blurt out things, uh, such as, that's why I'm sleeping with another bitch anyway, you know. Um, now he would come back and say, you know I'm lying, you know I was just trying to make you upset. And in my heart, I believe that because it doesn't seem like he's moving like he's cheating, but just the fact that you could come out your mouth to hurt me and say it. Mm -hmm. And I don't put nothing past anyone. Yeah. So what happened the week before Christmas? The week before Christmas, to be honest with you, it was so minor that I don't even know what it was about. But we got into an argument, and he once again packed up because he does like to pack up and just leave. So anytime something happens, anytime. it's like, I'm, I'm done, I'm gone. Anytime. It could be so little, and he get upset, he packing up and goes to his mom's house. Mm, mm, yes. Mm. So what makes you suspicious when he leaves the house? So, Nicola has always been very clean and, you know, take care of himself. Um, but when he's going to his mom's house, he's normally throwing some sweatpants or something real quick and going to see mom real quick. Here lately, he um, now, you know, puts on some nice jeans and... Oh, he dressing up. And, you know, a little... Sh yeah. I'm like, oh, you, you looking mm. real nice today going to see mom, you know. Ah. And did he stop wearing his ring? He does. <laughs> he did. He'll take it off. And, you know, when we get mad, he'll just take it off and leave it and... Does he ever leave it when he's going to his mom's house? Yes, he does. Okay. And um, I'm starting to become... I ask about that, you know, he says, oh, it just it reflects our marriage and we're not doing good, so I don't think I should wear the ring. And I'm like, well, but we're still married. And when you leave out without a ring, you're leaving yourself available for someone to know that you're, you know, not married. Well, listen, everyone, I am talking to Rosetta, who wants to unlock her husband, Nicola's phone. Before we unlock Nicola's phone, I want to talk to him first. Everyone, please welcome Nicola to the show. Um, I got a few things I want to clarify first, though. How, How are you doing? How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, thank you. Nice to be here. Clarify. Um, you said you got things to clarify. I want to hear. Just a few things. Yes. Um, Yes, we did have a conversation in the beginning about the, the whole transition um, situation and um, the surgeries and things like that. It's the bottom part that I'm not with. You knew that five years ago. And I'm totally not with it either all the way. Okay. But it is something that it, it's a consideration. It's something I've been looking, doing more research on. So you say you're not with it all the way, but then you say you're considering it. And I feel like it's not fair to me because you knew where I stood five years ago with that. Well, I can definitely hear that boundaries and communication are a bit of an issue in this relationship. But I think one of the big red flags for me is when you told me right before this that you stopped wearing a ring. I see that smile. What's yes. going on? Um, so, you know, because of the, the arguing and the miscommunications we have mm -hmm. um, and certain things that has been done um, in the past, mm -hmm. I feel like the ring is a symbol of our marriage, and when I take it off, I don't feel so married. You know, like, when we do get into arguments, she can be a little verbally volatile mm -hmm. with her words as well. 
Yes. So what are the arguments about from your point of view? It's really no boundaries in our relationship. Uh, like anything that's mine is not mine. It's y'all's. It's ours. Mm. Anything and that's hers is hers because, you know, I'm not. And that's not true because. So is that okay. why, Nick, when you move out, you cut bills off like the cable? Is that. Is that so the everyone same right now, this is, So everyone right now, this is Gigi, your friend, right? Is that, is that Jillian? sharing everything? You, yes, I'm Gigi. Gigi, nice to meet I've you. I've been their friends for about eight years each. Um, and Ro will call me in an argument. Nick has moved out and cut bills off, like mm. to the house that he's paying for. So I wanted to ask Nick, you know, if that is the same of you guys sharing things. Um, yeah, mostly when I when I turn the bills off, it's because during the argument, the things that I do get ignored, like I'm not doing it. You know, like if I buy groceries, oh, that little bit of stuff you did, that ain't nothing. Or if I pay a bill, or if I help with an insurance bill, oh, it ain't nothing. I still have to make sure that there's a roof to be lived under and lights that has to stay on and food that has to stay in the house, okay? Yeah, you contribute to a little household stuff, but when you leave, then you don't feel like you have to contribute. You say, I've been at my, mouth, my mom's I house, like when I'm I, I'm, and then I'm, you're cutting me off. That's I, another issue. I can't finish a sentence without being cut off. That's not fair. I've been at my mom's house for two weeks because we do not communicate but well. Does that we do mean... not talk well. We are on two different pages in this life now. Where's all your stuff now? In the stores. Oh, so you're not even in the house. No, nah, my stuff been in the stores for about, about six months. Mm. Yeah. So the ring comes off and things have moved out the, out the, the house. The ring comes off and on. It depends on so where we at. So why you wear it today? I wear it today because I wanted to symbolize That's our fake. merch. It's fake. But we've been in a good space, though. Mm. We've been in a good space, though. But so I need, to, I need to understand and go back a little bit. Why did you tell her that you messed with other women? Um, that's when we first met. Um, when we first met, um, I was going through some little things in my life. Um, I was probably drinking a little more than, not an alcoholic or anything like that, but I was drinking a little more. Okay. So when I met her, you know, she, she pointed that out to me. So I cut that back very, uh, cause she said that that was bigger, one of the biggest problems why we would argue. Mm -hmm. Cause so I, I feel like you are So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and test this. So I cut the drink back. We still argue. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay. Well, that's so she said, you're... stop talking to me in this way. Okay, so I stopped doing that. It's not about what you say, it's how you say it. So I said, okay, let me fix that. But let you me didn't fix, fix let that. Me fix how you're still I say controlling. It. And I'm sick of it. Gosh. I'm sick of not being able to express myself without getting lashed at. I'm sick and tired of saying that I'm I not smart. And you do not let me talk just like you're not letting me talk Listen, on here. Listen, I always re try to respect you, you okay? I've but always you don't. You been try, very but respectful. You don't. Nick, I want to know directly from you, have you ever cheated on Rosa? I have not, and and uh, that's another reason of why. So then, why where do you go when you leave? To the my house, mother's. To, your to mother's. my mother's. Uh -huh. To my mother's. And what are you doing at your mother's? Chilling with my mother. Because a lot of the questions that you have is what is Nick doing when he leaves the house? Yes. So what is what is it that you're hoping that I'll find out in this phone so that you can have your clarity? That uh, he's actually going to his mom's house where he says that he's going. That's what you need to know. Yes. All right, so is there anything before I unlock your phone, Nick, that you want to tell us, that you need to admit to? Um, that I went to my mom's. That you went to your mom's house? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, well, listen, I unlocked your phone, Nick, and here are the results. We went through your phone with text, photos, GPS, everything in the past six months. So, text messages. There were zero texts in your phone showing anything nefarious, him cheating, talking to anyone. When it came to photos, we looked through. There was zero photos with anyone in your phone at all. The thing that I thought was very interesting was when it came to GPS. In the past six months, Nick's phone was pinged to his mother's address only six times. August 17th and 20th, August 8th and 12th, and November 19th and 21st. The reason that's interesting to me is because as we have a ping right here, during the week before Christmas, Nick, you left Rosetta and claimed to be at his mother's house, and the investigators showed that you were not there. Oh. Where you was at? Where was I? I don't know. You were not there. You were not there. <laughs> and so the reason I say this, you got a smile on your face. So where, where the reason I say this is because your main something. concern. Wait, nah, where I'm were not, you? Hold up, yo, I'm trying Let to go know. back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thanks. All right, wait, and also, on. your main concern was, is, wait, wait, how wait, often wait, is he going to his mother's house? Day? He has not been at his mother's right. house. Right. You said a week before Christmas. Excuse me, say what? A week before Christmas, I was at my auntie's. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And what about the other times? What was the ping? I'm gonna need to know. What was the ping again? The ping was not near your mom's house. Nowhere near. Where Here was goes the it? dates. These are the only ones he the was at his mom's house. The only time um, that I was at mom's. And remember, you've been, you've been going to your mom's house every weekend now for the last three months. Well, well, yeah, I would go see her almost Saturday mornings. Uh-huh. When you got fresh And he left to you death. before Christmas. He did not go to his mom's I have house. no idea what, what day I can't really pinpoint and say where I was I at, mean, man. Do you clear. have where he went? So the problem is, is that because we don't know these other individuals, when it pings at these places, I we just, can only see so neighborhoods. So where were you? I, so where were you? I was, I was. I, I, Clean it up. We come on. I don't know where I was. Okay. I, I don't know where I was. Oh, but I'm a liar though. Listen. Okay. Look. All right. At the end of the day, we still we don't need, know where you were. At the end of the day, we're not going to get this communication thing together because at the because end of the day, because you lie. Because we don't speak well and we don't verbalize our and we're our not feelings being honest. well. Well, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. So, so, Nick, I want to give you an opportunity. If you're saying you're being honest. Uh, yes, sir, yeah. Where, where were you then when you I said you I just cannot there? go back in my mind readily. I could barely tell you where I was at last week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I don't know. I can't tell I don't know where I was at that day. But if I told her, if I, whenever I tell her I'm leaving to go to my mother's, that's why I'm, that's where I am. Right. And I call her, and I even sent her my location. OK. You just sent me your location last week. <sighs> last so, week. So, Rosetta, bro. All right, yes. let's be real right now. Yes. Let's take a deep breath. Okay. Um, you said some things about the fact that you're in a controlling relationship. Yes. And I'm going to tell you, he has stopped paying bills. He stops communicating when he wants. He's moved out. He stops wearing the ring. These things seem like spitefulness, mm -hmm. but they are a part of control. Yes. So you're not too far off. Okay. The thing is, though, is he's already shown you that he don't want to be here. When someone moves out and takes off their ring in a marriage, they're giving you a clear signal, this is not where it is. Because y'all all see it, right? Yeah. This relationship has been done. From your words, Nick, you said, we are on two different pages. Yeah. You are. ever try to read two different pages of a book? <laughs> it don't make sense. No. So if your man is telling you we are on two different pages, and he's already moved out his stuff, and he's taking off his ring, girlfriend, what you want to do? It's over. Don't tell me. Look at your man. It's gonna have to be over, babe. You know I love. Y'all can clap for that. That's nah, that's, that's, that. that's coming that's to a fine. revelation. I mean, you know, I, I think you know it comes a time, and you know, just like a beginning, there's it has to be an end. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I think we are at, probably at, at the end of it. And know? I know this. You know, we Good. both had we one go. foot in and one foot out. You know, it's time to both y'all step out. I think both of y'all deserve to be in a healthy relationship. But I can't go nowhere because you know, that's technically my place of residence. So I can't up and move. Yeah, well, he's already moved out. Yeah. <laughs> I just got to stop letting him come in when he exactly. wants Exactly. That's my Every problem. time you let him in, that is when the relationship gets toxic again because you're, he's already moved out. And so he's just saying part of that controlling behavior that you were witnessing is part of this, like, I know I have access when I want. Right. I know I can come back when I want. Right. Don't let anybody play you for a fool like that. You're right. That's what it is. It is. And you're going to go find you somebody who's going to love you and who's going to be with you. And as you said, as you're transitioning, you've had different thoughts, different changes. And you deserve to be able to grow into the man that you are. Yep. And you deserve to be with somebody who's going to be with you at that page. Y'all just on different pages. You're right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I yes. agree. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this is done. It is. And I wish both of y'all the best of Thank luck. Thank you so much. Hold on. Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe. And right here to watch more. Period.